How does it work? Last day, it turned out. Behind the counter, a small coffee joint and farewell. And a warning. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. Remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him you twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Headed. Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So O'Brien, he's uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No. Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. So how you hold it up? Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. That little dirt bike I tooled around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Hey, let me know right what behind you. There it is. All right, spread out to the perimeter. I don't want any yeah, squirrels this one of those time. Again. Let me know yeah. when it's clear. All right, now watch. Soldiers come out first. They secure the LZ. Then their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out. He looks around. What? Whatever science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? Yeah. 
now. We're picking up scat samples. <laughs> you mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't that? interrupt. As well as pernicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> Freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien oh, said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh?
There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that we, they, they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, uh, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so... So she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel. The soldiers. The guys with the guns. The guys who should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, no, They're too strong. I know all too about fast. hordes. Oh, I right. know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, there was, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. Whole thing's a waste of my goddamn time. Boozer! Boozer! Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, oh, shit. Right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go?